Today, we're going to add an extra floodlight. I'm going to use this plastic tubing that we bought at Home Depot. It's real going to be easy for you guys to, you don't have to bend any pipe. You just run this like a hose and cut it. It's easy to cut. I'm going to add a set of floodlights. I'm removing the old light so I can run the new flex into the bell box. Light comes off. Checking for power. Oh, we still have power, so I have to go disconnect the power. Putting the screw back in so I don't lose it. Now I'm going to remove the KO seal from the box and that's where we're going to put the new connector in. Probably 33, 40, 46 inches. This stuff is so easy to cut. It's just like a garden hose. You can almost you can cut it with your knife. Forty-six inches is right there. So what I like to do is put the one connector on first. My straight connector. Send in the black, white, and ground. So just make sure you use the ground when you... This stuff does not have a ground. This doesn't count as a ground. I'm installing the whip to feed our next light. This goes right around the corner, no bending needed. We're gonna put a clip in this to keep it secure. Now what I'm gonna do is to make up a pigtail to feed this light. Remove these wires. And I'm gonna remove the ground wire because I have to attach this ground to the new ground. Do the grounds first.
Good tight twist. Trim. And a wire nut. Now I'm making a pigtail, tying the wires together with this little piece of wire. We, we call that a pigtail so that this piece can go into the floodlight base plate. And that's how they uh, designed this one to attach the power to. Just twist you wise. I should have made that a little longer, but I've been twisting a while. If you make your your wires about an inch long, it's easier to twist. Strip it, I mean, an inch long. But I got it pretty tight there. Nice twist on my wires. That's what I want to see. And then wire nut. Tuck the wires in. You see the arrow? It's pointing right up the top here. Pretty self explanatory. Tighten this base up, tuck the ground wire out of the way of the base screw, make sure it's good and straight. Okay, one of these says white, and one of them says black. So this one here is for your white wire, and they want the polarity right, so. Here we go. And the little screwdriver that they give you with this kit really sucks. So I use my own. Put the little white thing back in, trim it off. So we pre-wired this, I'm gonna call it flex, it's a rubber tubing. And it it's easy for you guys so you don't have to bend anything. We can work it around. A few clips will make it look halfway decent. It's not great looking. I'm gonna screw the box in. First, I'm gonna ground the, the box. It comes with a green screw already installed in the back of the box. Just loosen it up a little bit so you can get your wire underneath and then give it a good squeeze. Tighten it up. And as we know, we just did the other one. We just need a little bit of wire right to about there. Side for those holes and the arrows right there, straight up. Another ground wire to ground the base of the fixture. You have to use both of them? One's, one ground wire is for the box and the other ground wire is for the fixture itself. So yes, you do use both. Yeah, you, you use both. Every time you ground something, you make sure your box is always grounded and then your equipment is grounded. Okay, one side says white and one side says black. 
tuck that inside. It's the white, and I got plenty of room in this box. I can tuck the wires back in. Leave a little slack in there. The light fixture, there's holes in the back, and these two prongs here go into these two holes, and that's what makes the connection. So you just feel it in there, work it in, and tighten it up. Remove the plastic. So all I have to do now is put a screw in, a clip in there, and that's the easy part of the this rubber flex. It's real easy for your homeowners to work with. Now we're going to test the light. We got it in the test mode. We're going to energize the breaker, and I'll be right back. Put it on the time mode for five minutes. Right up the bill. Get the money. 